Okay, so this is section 3.3, which is logarithmic functions and their graphs. We're going to talk about inverses of exponential functions, common logs, natural logs, graphs of log functions, and measuring sound using decibels. So the first thing is changing between logarithmic and exponential form. So if we look at b to the y equals x, we can turn that into log form. We can go back and forth between log form and exponential form. So this would be log base b of x equals y. So if we put numbers in there to show an example, if I have 2 to the third power equals 8, I would write that as log base 2 of 8 equals 3. So again, you can go the reverse way as well. You might have a log equation that you can write as exponential. So this will come in when we start to um, solve equations. It's helpful to switch between forms. So inverses, or sorry, exponential functions and log functions are inverses of each other. So we have y equals b to the x, y equals log base b of x. You can see that they're reflected over the y equals x line um, because they are inverses. And we're going to look at a specific example of that in a couple slides. Okay, so some basic properties come back to the idea of switching between log form and exponential form. So our first property, we have log base b of 1 equals 0. And we can think about that because if we take any number raised to the 0 power, it's going to equal 1. And so that is why um, this is one of our properties. Okay, the next one, log base b of b equals 1. Because again, if you switch the form, it'd be b to the first power equals b which we know is the case for numbers, if we plug in numbers for b. And then if we have log base b of b to the y power, that's going to equal y because b to the y equals b to the y. And then um, b raised to the log base b of x is equal to x because they're inverses of each other, so they undo the operation. And if we switch the form again, log base b log base b of x equals log base b of x. Okay, so this is the example I was talking about earlier. So we have a table where we have x and um, f of x equals 2 to the x, so we can see the values, and then we have x and the inverse is equal to log base 2 of x. So if we were to graph both of these, we'd end up with an exponential and our log, and they would be reflected over that y equals x line. Not the best graph, but you had a better example a couple slides ago. Okay, so again, they're inverses of each other. So if your um, calculator doesn't necessarily graph log base 2, um, some calculators are just log base 10 and log base e, so you could, gr you could graph this function right here, x and f of x equals 2 to the x, and then you could flip the table to figure out what the graph of your inverse would look like. Okay, so common log is base 10. So if you see just log of x, that means it's really log base 10 of x. So we don't have to write the 10 if it is um, it's kind of understood to be there. So these same properties apply, so it's very similar to the properties we just talked about, except now it's applying it to all of your um, applying 10 in for b instead of just using a variable. So log of 1 equals 0 because 10 to the 0 power equals 1. Log of 10 equals 1 because 10 to the first equals 10. So you can see these are the same exact ones that we just talked about on the previous slide, and it all comes from switching those forms. So this is the big one, though. I want you to know if you just see log of x that that means log base 10 of x. Okay, so here we have an example of solving simple logarithmic equations. So we have log base log of x equals 4. So again, that's understood that that's log base 10. So we could write that if that helps. Log base 10 of x equals 4. So it says changing it into exponential form. So if I switch this around into exponential form, it would be 10 to the 4th power equals x. Well, 10 to the 4th power is just 10,000, so that is the answer to our equation. So you can switch the form to find um, the solution. 
basic properties of natural log. So natural log is, you're going to see it on the calculator as LN. It's capital LN on the cal graphing calculator. No, nope, lowercase. Um, so natural log, lowercase LN, it is equal to log base E. But we don't write it as log base E. So you don't actually write it this way. You're going to write it as natural log. Um, so if you see natural log of X, your brain should be telling you, hey, that's the same as saying log base E of X. So again, this is a value that's on your calculator that you can use um, to evaluate where you don't necessarily, on all calculators, have anything other than log base 10 and log base E. So again, we can apply all of these basic properties to natural log. So these are the same that we just talked about. Natural log of 1 equals 0 because E to the 0 equals 1. So again, switching the form on each of these. I don't need to go through these for a third time, but just realizing that, again, you're switching, switching the form to identify the property. Okay, so here's a graph of log of x and natural log of x. So you can see they are inverses of, um, it'd be 10 to the x and e to the x would be your inverse functions. Okay, so it says transforming logarithmic graphs. We're going to describe the transformation that would transform f of x equals natural log of x to g of x equals 2 minus 3 natural log of x. So first of all, they write the value, the 2, out front. Um, it might help to rewrite this so that we can understand what's really happening. This would be negative 3 natural log of x plus 2. So if we rearrange it that way, then we can identify our transformations a little bit easier. That plus 2 shows you that it's going to be a shift up 2. The negative out front tells us it's going to reflect over the x-axis. And the 3 tells us we're going to have a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. So again, same property, same transformation um, format of all the functions that we've done before, and same same characteristics for each of those. Okay, the last thing is just talking about how logs apply to different things. Um, the level of sound intensity in decibels is given with a log equation, where beta is equal to 10 times the log of I over I sub zero, and that is saying, so the intensity is in watts per square meters, and it tells us that um, the, so the, this right here is your, the threshold of human hearing, so the quietest audible sound intensity. So you could plug in a sound intensity that you're given, and then divide it by your, um, your baseline intensity and then take the log of that times 10 and that will give us the number of decibels that it's equal to. So other things like um, earthquakes, so the Richter scale is also involved with logs. There's a lot of different um, real life applications. So also like in chemistry dealing with pH that is related to logs. So all of those things are examples of how we can use logs in real life. So let me know if you have any questions.